Let's do an example where we find the volume of a solid of revolution. Example. Find the volume of the solid generated by rotating y equals one divided by x on the interval from one to two around the x axis. In a sense, solving this problem is basically plug and play using the formula from the previous video. It's pi times the integral from one to two of the function squared dx. And we will compute to this integral, but let's remind ourselves where this comes from. Remembering that is going to be very helpful down the line. We have this curve, one divided by x, and where did this integral come from? Well, we took rectangles like this, and we rotated them around the axis, and we got to cylinders, and we added up the volumes of those cylinders, and we took a limit, and that sum became an integral. This one divided by x gives us the radius of one of these cylinders. And that's all I want to say before we compute the integral, that this one divided by x comes from the radius of a cylinder. And if we keep that in our mind, then when we modify these problems, for example, when we rotate around something other than the x-axis, we'll be able to do so without a lot of grief. Anyway, let's see. One divided by x squared is one squared divided by x squared. So x to the negative second. The antiderivative of x to the negative second is negative x to the negative first. We are evaluating from one to two. Negative x to the negative first is negative one divided by x. So 
negative one half minus negative one divided by one that makes pi divided by two. And now let's see how we deal with the various complications. If we have a different axis of revolution, for example, in the next video and the next set of notes.